Hey guys, Ronnie Cruz here. So, I've been wanting to do some new things with this channel and uh, I've tossed around some ideas and... Now, for those of you who, who like the singing stuff, don't worry, I'm gonna continue to do some of that stuff. But I wanna do something more original. Uh, why not movie reviews, right? I'm a big mov movie buff. Movie fuff. I'm a big movie buff. For those of you who, who know what that is, you'll, you'll understand. I'm a big movie buff. I'm a big movie buff. I'm a big movie, movie buff. <laughs> so I, I'm a big movie buff, and uh, I thought, why not? Why not share my my passion uh, for film uh, and 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 movies with you all? I've 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 watched, grew up watching movies, and and I've actually been in a few. <laughs> So, I, you know, I want to do this as, as, as something new. You know, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, here we go. In this first episode, I'm going to review none other than the big movie for this weekend, which was Iron Man 2. And you shouldn't do this in, uh, in England. It should be like this. It's better. Iron Man 2, directed by Jean Favreau, starring Robert Downey Jr. as the billionaire... Tony Stark, who, strangely, looks like a friend of mine. Anyway, Tony Stark, obviously he's a billionaire, he's got lots of money, he puts together lots of cool gadgets, he's got robots and stuff in his basement, computers, um, and he's got that crazy suit. Um, so there's a lot of that, which is awesome. New bad guys, more people to beat up. What more can you ask for? Uh, it's Iron Man. It's a comic book movie. Did great over the weekend. 130 million in uh, uh, box office sales. Uh, somewhere around there, roughly 130 million, which, you know, blew away the uh, the first Iron Man numbers. Uh, the first one did something like 90 something, uh, around 90 something uh, million in its first weekend. This one did 130. Here's the thing. It's a sequel, so it's going to be hard to avoid uh, talking about. Iron Man 2 without comparing it to the first one, all right? The good news is, uh, actually, for those of you who, who like the first one, the good news is it's just as good as the first one, easily as good as the first one, if not better. I actually thought it was, it was a, a hair better uh, than the first one. Now, it didn't blow me away. Uh, the first Iron Man didn't blow me away. The second one didn't blow me away, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed both of them uh, uh, tremendously. They're hugely entertaining. A lot of great action scenes. Funny, witty banter between between the characters, between Robert Downey Jr. and and uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and and the other characters. Uh, Sam Jackson is in there. He's, he's made made a little bit of an appearance. Um, so it's good stuff. Don Cheadle uh, was was great. Uh, I'm not a big fan of switching actors uh, in, in a franchise. Uh, you know, unless one passes away. So I thought it was a weird choice for them to switch midstream um, but it was seamless you know Don Cheadle did a great job I'm a fan of, uh, of Terrence Howard as well I like I like them both as actors um, uh, um, but it, you know it worked out it worked out so yeah I mean it was good I liked it I liked it a lot um, oh cool factoid Tony Stark was using core bottle much like this one <laughs> um, it was, it, was uh, it just I thought it funny that he would use uh, that they had these bottles in um, in the film, so uh, check those out. Um, see if you can find them. I think the ones he had were blue. Anyway, yeah, I mean it was a good film. Uh, it was fun, fun to watch, and the bonus of the addition of uh, Scarlett Johansson. Um, so yeah, rating scale. Uh, I haven't really figured out a rating scale yet. Um, so let's just go uh, with numbers for now. Uh, three and a half out of five, which for me, it's, that's, that's a strong, that's a strong grade. That's a good grade. Uh, three and a half out of five for, for Iron Man 2. Go watch it. Definitely go watch it on the big screen because, uh, you know, that's the whole point, I think, for summer blockbuster movies, especially. Um, they're incredibly, incredibly fun to watch on, on the, on the silver screens. So, Iron Man 2. Definitely watch it on the big screen. Um, it's fun to watch. Now, another thing I want to do with the show is, is review in tandem, while I review, I'll review a current movie that's out in the theaters. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But I also want to review a rental. And this week, we're going to talk about Black Christmas. The remake. The original one was in the 70s, a couple years actually before Halloween. Um, so it was a predecessor to Halloween. And it's actually supposed to be a, a huge cult classic. Now, 
I don't remember seeing that film. Uh, if I have, uh, it's been so long ago that, that I have no recollection of it. This new one, however, the updated uh, remake, I did just watch and unfortunately it doesn't make the grade. It doesn't make the grade at all. Um, slasher flick, psychological thriller, I mean, it's disjointed. The story was just wacky. I felt like I always I never could figure out what the heck was going on. Like, who's who? Who's who, what, what are they in relation to the story? And like, it was just a mess. It was just a mess, unfortunately. I mean, I guess conceptually, uh, the story could have been good. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what went wrong. Um, the director, Glenn Morgan, uh, also directed Willard, which I happen to actually uh, like. I'm, so I'm not sure what happened with this. You know, I was watching, I was watching some of the behind the scenes stuff, and uh, you know, he apparently had some high concepts going into it. I don't know if he just failed, or if studios uh, tampered with with the film after after uh, he had gotten done making it, um, which happens. Whatever the reason might be, this movie was just a total, total mess. I, I wouldn't recommend renting this one. Uh, let me just put it that way. Uh, I would give it one and a half out of, out of, out of five. Um, redeeming factors, some very attractive young ladies. But even then, for a slasher flick, there wasn't nearly, nearly enough TNA uh, uh, that's characteristic of this genre. Not that, you know, that's all I'm looking for. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Black Christmas. One and a half out of five. Iron Man 2, three and a half out of five stars. Go watch it in the theater. It's good fun. Um, and that's it. That's the first episode, guys. I'm going to be trying to do a lot more stuff. You know, maybe some movie posters in the back and better lighting. I'm going to try to get some more sleep uh, so I don't look so haggard. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave your comments. Let me know if you've seen, if you've seen Iron Man and what you thought. Um, try not to give any spoilers. Don't ruin it for everybody else. If you've seen Black Christmas, let me know what you think. Um, if you've seen the original, let me know what you think, okay? So, I'm going to try to do these uh, uh, reviews once a week, so tune in, uh, subscribe. I don't even know where the subscribe button is, but subscribe to the channel. I believe it's up here somewhere. So, until next time, this is Ronnie Cruz signing out. And remember, if you go to a movie, clean up after yourself.